Hi, welcome to today's video and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be answering the number one question that I receive and that is, David, do you make financial plans? And the answer is yes. Yes, I make financial plans. For over 20 years I've been working with individuals, families, and business owners right across Canada protecting and growing their assets and I do that with written financial plans. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably have some questions around your own retirement planning or investment planning, estate planning, and those questions are rooted in some doubt about what's going on with either the lack of planning or no planning. And so today I'm going to share with you some details about what you get from me when you get a financial plan, how to get in contact with me to start a conversation around having a financial plan, and then also understanding exactly what you're going to receive once we're arrive to the point where we're delivering your financial plan what do you actually get and then what do you get from me ongoing um, from that point forward and then there's also a bonus that I give to all my clients when they get a financial plan so stick around to the end remember to like and share this video because yeah so many people should have a financial plan so let's dig into why you're here a financial plan is seeing the outcome of your planning decisions before you commit to them you know you wouldn't begin a renovation without having some drawings created right of your house so you would say hey uh, we want to renovate our kitchen show us some drawings first before you take a hammer back there so a financial plan is no different you want to map out the next 30 40 years of your life depending on when you start your plan because you want to have those big questions answered so a financial plan is deeply important what happens when you get a financial plan is you gain confidence the biggest concern most people have is do i have enough money to retire or will i outlive my money and so you want to have confidence, right? You want to be this couple, looking at a map, deciding where you're going to travel, where's that interesting place you've always wanted to go to. Maybe it's spending winters outside of Canada in some warm climate. Just to be enthusiastic about your retirement, that's what a financial plan will give you. Now, here are some like four or five questions that you're probably asking yourself. I hope you see yourself in some of these questions. It's pretty confident you will. And I'm going to share with you exactly how the financial plan that you get from me helps solve those problems. We're not going to go into the, the tables and charts and all that. I'm just going to share with you a higher level of understanding how the plan is going to help you, okay? You might be asking your, yourself a question, when do you start your CPP? You start at 60, 65, 70. Well, a financial plan is going to map that out. It's actually going to give you... Um, when you should start CPP. It's also going to show you mathematically if you started at 70 or 65 or an age in between. Instead of guessing and thinking, well, when, when's, when should I do this? We're actually going to share that with you on paper so you can make that decision ahead of time before you apply to CPP. You'll know. So I want to share with you just one example. Now, of course, if you needed CPP for your retirement, at age 60 because you need the income then there's no point in having a discussion about deferring you need the income you need the income but what if you didn't need the income then it's really important to know when at what age to take it so it doesn't affect your tax rates too much doesn't affect your clawback and old age security so let's look at this example someone decides to take CPP at age 65 live a long life enjoy the retirement pass away and they have 1.6 million dollars after tax estate now a lot of people aren't talking about this, how CPP affects your estate values. So I'm going to give you a little 30,000 foot level here. So that's one planning scenario, right? So you said, show me 65. Well, here's age 70. Defer in this particular case. I'm not advocating in this video that everybody should defer. I'm just sharing you one example that I've come across, and that is take the same person, show them age 70, and they actually now have an after-tax estate of over two million so they've picked up an additional four hundred thousand dollars so before you apply to CPP we're able to share with you the math about what happens if you take it at this age versus that age not just your year of year income your taxation year over year but also how your estate is actually affected by that decision as well let's look at an RSP meltdown that is a common question you have too much money in your RSP how do you take money out of your RSP how much money would you take out at what age, that's the RSP meltdown. Watch this video here if you wanna see a full version of it. But most people have a contribution strategy and they just don't have a withdrawal strategy. So in your financial plan, we actually walk through how you would use your RSPs in a better way 
you know you don't want to leave too much money for Revenue Canada and so in this illustration you just see uh, this is like everybody almost everybody has this situation you're investing your money you get to age say 65 you got a lot of money in your RSP you convert it to a RIV you use the minimum withdrawal schedule and you end up having half your money there at your passing for Revenue Canada tax at 50%. You did not intend to give away 50% of your RSP. There's just no way at age 30 that you intended to give away 50% of your RIF value at your passing. So that is why you have a financial plan so you don't have that happen and you don't give hundreds of thousands of dollars of Revenue Canada. Another question is, you know, what's the withdrawal order here? Which accounts do we take money out of? Your financial plan also talks about that. If your house is part of your retirement strategy, then we talk about when to downsize, what's the right age, so you make sure you're maximizing the use of that money throughout your retirement. And so we'll actually map that into your financial plan as well. So now what do you get when you have a financial plan from me? So I'm gonna share with you really quick about what you get. Obviously you get the financial plan. You're going to get a PDF document emailed to you. Then you're also going to have a video um, from me explaining your financial plan. When we deliver the financial plan, we're doing that via Zoom. So we're actually going to dig into exactly everything about your financial plan. But what happens a year or two years from now when you're trying to remember what did that mean? So you just simply watch the video that I've created for you about your plan and you'll say, oh, okay, I remember that now. Now, if there's a strategy, in the plan that talks about you know deferring CPP or RIF meltdowns you can just go to my YouTube channel and there's a library of all those strategies so you can watch those so you're getting your plan and you're getting the education all in one place now the other thing that you get in the financial plan is this binder this is the planning binder the planning binder has eight tabs in it and it has a personal records organizer so this is really about you keeping organized but it's also about at some point in your life someone's gonna have to help you think about that 55 percent of the population retires at an age that they didn't expect because of a disability or an illness and another 23 percent of the population retires early because they have to care for a spouse that is ill or disabled so that means that a large number of people are going to need assistance and if they don't know what your account numbers in login IDs to bank accounts how to help you with your taxes who your accountant is who your financial advisor is how to reach them um, how to reach your employer do you have a will if you don't have a will you got to get a will uh, where is that kept all these uh, very important items are in your head and you got to get them on paper so somebody can just grab that binder and know exactly who to contact the other tabs are around you know keeping where uh, your insurance critical illness disability policies um, having your will in there your powers of attorney on each other or maybe even on your parents um, if you're helping your parents as they age um, there's one for real estate if you have real estate positions maybe you have rental contracts or lease agreements in there uh, maybe you have debts, a mortgage, or maybe you're doing private lending, so you have those contracts in there. Um, if, especially if you also if you're doing real estate and you have you've bought some pre-construction, you have all those contracts in there. There's one for taxes to keep all your um, notice of assessments in there. Everything in one great place to stay organized. And when you get a financial plan, you also get that. Now, let's look at my. Uh, website because I'm going to share with you now how do you actually get a financial plan so the couple places in the description below of this video you're going to see an area where you can contact me you can book a calendar in my online calendar you can book time for us to start a conversation so that's the first place the second place is on my website so if you go to the website you'll see here financial plan and so AaronWealthManagement.com, and there's the financial plan click on that and that takes you to the financial plan section. Just simply scroll down and you'll see that there are two plans. You've got the corporate plan. So if you are an, uh, an incorporated business owner, you're a corporate plan. If you're an individual or household, that's one plan. And if you've got real estate or rental properties as an individual or a um, household plan, you're still a household plan. If you're a business owner that has real estate positions, you are a business. So it's very, very simple. Household plans $3,000, the corporate plans $5,000.
And when you purchase those plans, we start working right away. But you also get me for 12 months. So it's not just here's the plan, we're done. For the next 12 months, I'm going to be available to you to help you implement your plan, to make sure that you're on the right track. Well, that's it for the financial plans. I hope this was very useful for you so that you know that I actually do financial plans, how to contact me if you're interested in discussing a financial plan. Remember to like and share this with anyone that is interested in retirement planning and might need a discussion on getting a financial plan. As always, thank you so much for tuning into this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks and be well. Hey.